Hey everybody, Michael Snyder. October 11th eclipse forecast update. Check it out. The 2023 annular solar eclipse occurring this Saturday, initially starting here across Western Oregon, moving across extreme Northeastern California, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Texas, clipping Northeast Arizona as well. This will not be a total solar eclipse. It is not going to block out the entire sun. The moon will appear a bit smaller, relatively speaking, to the sun. So you're going to see that ring of fire around the eclipse as it comes across the area. But the good news is that many people across the lower 48 states are going to be able to see a partial eclipse here as well. So you will see some of the moon blocking out some of the sun. The 2024 eclipse path is shown here. And this one is going to be glorious because some places are going to get totality for over four minutes. Make sure not to miss this one if you can. When it goes totality, it is quite an amazing sight. Life-changing viewing, watching a total solar eclipse. It is just an amazing thing to witness in person. Now, looking at the forecast, GFS, total cloud cover. You can see Western Oregon not looking looking too hot here as we go on the GFS. I mean, Eastern Oregon, a little bit better chances here for seeing that partial eclipse or annular eclipse, across, or depending on where you are. Nevada, you start to get a bit better. Utah, Arizona, there's still some clouds across some of Texas and New Mexico here as well. And Seattle, will we see it? Uh, it's kind of an interesting thing here because you can see a little bit of a break right before the eclipse there. So maybe you'll get some partial eclipse viewing here across some portions of Western Washington there. And again, we'll break this down day by day to kind of see how this forecast trends there. But if we look at the European here, you can kind of see a little bit better for Western Washington. There's about 9 a.m. showing. And even Western Oregon, some places might catch a break there. And Nevada, better chances. Utah, some Arizona. But there is still some high clouds. So there's still some cloud activity down here across Texas, too, as it moves across Texas and out over the Gulf of Mexico eventually. And everybody else is still kind of wandering out here, too, across the plains, the Intermountain West, all across the lower 48. Are you going to be able to see that partial eclipse? As you can see, we do have our share of clouds out here, but there is some break in the clouds. Now, this is looking at Seattle. This is what is actually going to be viewed. You can see this starts at about 8.07 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, and it'll block out a lot of the sun, as you can see, by about 9.19 Pacific Daylight Time. And that partial eclipse ends at about 10.40 a.m. This is for San Francisco. This is the actual path it's going to take. You'll see it'll be blocking out the kind of the left side of the sun as you're looking at it down there across some of the Bay Area, blocking out a significant portion of the sun there. And that will end at about 10.43 or so Pacific Daylight Time. This is Los Angeles. Pretty similar to San Francisco there. Maybe not blocking out quite as much as the sun there, as you can see. And then the eclipse comes to an end right about 10.50 Pacific Daylight Time. Las Vegas, let's see. You get pretty, you know, you start blocking out a pretty good portion of the sun there by about 9.30 a.m. So it's going to kind of be an interesting sight out there. You'll notice the dim the dimming of the sunlight for a lot of the areas here that I'm showing. This is Albuquerque. Check it out. That is a purely annular eclipse, but you notice there is still going to be the ring of the visible sun around it. So you're still going to need those uh, solar eclipse sunglasses on. Do not be looking at that ring of fire there without protection on your eyes. And then you can see that move off and the partial eclipse finally ends at about uh, just after noon there as you go on in through mountain daylight time there for Albuquerque, New Mexico. San Antonio, Texas, check it out. You are going to block off as much as you possibly can here with this moon. And again, you're going to have that ring of fire around it. You will not get totality with this eclipse no matter where you are. And that will be ending at about 1.30 central daylight time. This is Dallas. Check it out. It does not block it off fully there either. And you can kind of see a partial eclipse blocking over 80% of it. And that will come to an end at about 1.28 or so central daylight time. Uh, Denver, check it out. You're also going to get a nice shot of a partial eclipse there if the weather plays nice and you can get that break in the clouds. So, yeah, interesting stuff here. Coming on shore there, Western Oregon, moving down across the area at, over the Gulf of Mexico, and you can see the countdown till the eclipse begins. There's some great websites out there to view the stuff if you want. We'll continue to look at this forecast here over the next couple of days, and hopefully we can catch some breaks here across some of Oregon and Nevada, maybe for Seattle and you know, California to try to get some nice viewing of this eclipse. But you can see we had our share of clouds out there, and there's that system going to be approaching the Pacific coastline there as well. So maybe that'll back up and slow down. It's It, it can happen. So we'll watch it here over the next few days. And this is the maximum somewhere along the Oregon coast there. And you can kind of see nicely blocking out most of the sun, but still you'll need that eye protection there. But 
Um, let's take a quick look here at some of the National Weather Service offices too as well. You can see Eureka. This was updated yesterday morning actually, but you can see not looking great for some of Northern California here. There's even some precipitation chances. And this may actually hold off though. This may be getting updated here. And I think these are going to downtrend a little bit because as you saw, that precipitation kind of staying off the coastline. So maybe we'll catch a break for some areas of California. This is Pendleton, Oregon here as well. They do mention it here and probably going to be mostly cloudy as they mentioned. So uh, and again, the precip probably going to hold off, but the clouds will definitely be in advance of that precipitation shield here. And which one is this one for? So I got Southern Oregon, Northern California here. Very high probability of cloudy skies. So you might want to get out into Nevada if you are mobile enough to get out there. And uh, this is looking at, uh, I believe this is Reno here. Yes. And you can see the maximum eclipse there, 85% obscuration, about 921 AM sky cover, 60% chance of being cloudy there. So again, push off to the east if you can. Uh, this is Las Vegas. Should be nice viewing out there. You can see the peak of it about 926 AM. And yeah, total duration of when the moon starts to uh, move over the sun uh, there is about two hours and 46 minutes for our Las Vegas. So nice graphic there. And anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are liking these updates here. Um, I'll continue to do this for the next couple of days. We'll kind of watch this stuff and hopefully maybe the system will back up and we'll get a break in the clouds here across a lot of the Western USA. So we'll continue to look at this day by day. Check out my other videos and I'll talk to you tomorrow in my regular briefings.